What up guys? So every single week we always try to get a weekend yummy breakfast with me, Ma Bear, and Taika. And we found out in this hotel they make pancakes bigger than Taika's head. There's a pancake bigger than your face. A big old pancake. You wanna eat it? Yeah! Yeah! So it's called Hash House A Go Go and we're gonna go check it out. I actually don't know anything. You actually told me that we're gonna go get pancakes bigger than Tycho's face. And I'm like, oh shit, let's go. So we're inside the Link Hotel and so far everything in here is really, really nice, really new. Even the music's like super posh. So it makes me feel like they only pick really high quality, cool stuff to put in here. So I'm like pretty excited. I feel like it's gonna be really good. There's actually a bunch of Hash Howl Gogos in Nevada. The one that we're in is inside the Link Hotel because it was highly rated. And what they're known for is twisted farm food. So think traditional American breakfast, eggs, bacon, hash browns, corned beef hash, but huge and with a gourmet twist. Let's get lost in breakfast today, baby. Aika, yeah. what's your favorite kind of breakfast? Chicken. Chicken? Yeah. I like chicken and Uh -huh. She'll have the banana latte. Yeah, hotter ice. Can I get the campfire s'mores? S'mores, that's right. Can I get that ice? That one is not because they torch it. Oh, okay. That one's torch, okay. so that's the only one we can make. Okay, I'll get that hot. Okay. He'll have a orange juice. The little pink one? Yeah. One? Okay. And the three waters? Absolutely. And can I get one of your world famous blueberry pancakes? Yeah. The big one? Just the blueberry or blueberry lemon? Blueberry lemon. Yeah. And can we also get the chicken and waffles? Yes. Bacon comes with that. Is that okay for you? Yeah. Any of the Nashville sauce on the side, the spicy sauce? Yes, please. And we're looking for a third thing. What do you recommend? Um. Well, the chicken Benedict is one of our best sellers, or I would do the chorizo hash. Chorizo, chorizo hash, hash or chicken good. Benedict? Can we get the um, chorizo hash? hash? How would you like your eggs for that? Over easy. Okay, and any avocado or sour cream you want to add on the side for that? Yes, all of it. Perfect. Anything else? That'd be all. No? Okay. Okay, so right now it is 9.30 and we just sat down. We put our names down at around like 8.30, so it's like a good hour wait. But there's a pro tip, okay? Anytime that you want to eat breakfast, you have to do it before 10 a.m. so that you can avoid all the crowd. But for here, because it's so popping and it's so popular, you're already looking for like a minimum 30 minute wait. So the sooner you can get here, the better. So I saw you reading the menu and you're like, campfire s'mores latte and I'm like, S'mores, I freaking love s'mores. Graham cracker, melted chocolate, marshmallow. Got that in a drink. That's super delicious, had to try that. And every time I go to a restaurant for the first time, I always have to get their flagship items. You know, every restaurant, they're known for like their top one, two or three things. So for sure, we came here looking for the biggest pancakes and I think we found it. And I got the blueberry lemon pancake. On the menu, there's a big chicken and waffles thing. And even on Yelp, everyone keeps raving about the sage fried chicken and waffles. So when I heard that, I'm like, ooh, sage? That must mean it's a very herby chicken. I saw the crust, it's super crunchy, and it's a big old stack with waffles, and then you have the Nashville hot sauce. It sounds like the best chicken waffles I'm ever gonna have. I didn't know what to get for the third one, so I always ask the server for recommendation, and she recommended either the chorizo hash or fried chicken benedict. We already got the fried chicken in the chicken and waffles. So I'm like, oh, let's change up the palate a little bit. Let's go with the chorizo hash because I love chorizo and I love hashes. You guys know me. I love making skews and skillets where it's all mismatched and the runny egg and the yolk and all that stuff. So I'm super excited for this big hearty breakfast. The banana latte. All right, here we go. Should I mix this? I feel like I need to mix this, yeah? No. It doesn't taste like banana? No. What does it taste like? Milk and coffee. 
No. Had it underwhelming. I don't taste the banana. It's okay. So maybe if you order this, tell them go heavy on the banana. Does anyone else do this? When I have whipped cream on the top, though, like it was intended to all go together. So what I do is I'll pull my straw out and start sucking from the top of the whipped cream, and then continue to suck as I'm pushing it down, so I can get a mouthful of everything. Do you do that? So for example, I go here, right? Go up and down, right? Not up and down. Oh, I just went down. Really? That's good. Okay, so let me go up. I thought I was gonna blow your mind and you just. <laughs> Ain't no one fatter than me, trust me. You've been a fat boy. Okay, so I do this. Start sucking up here. Now I gotta do the part method. You know where I got that technique from? Drinking root beer float. So root beer float is all about both, root beer and the ice cream. So I go, like that. That's good. Oh my God. So I've never gotten the coffee where I feel like I need to eat it with a spoon. Oh, it's dripping over the side. You see that? I think it's melted marshmallow. How do I approach this? I don't know, just drink it, slip it. Whoa, it's floating on it, it's thick. It's melted cool? marshmallow okay, on the wait, top. Wait. It's good. It's melted marshmallow. And it's the way you like it, you don't like that much chocolate. So it's melted marshmallow coffee with just a little bit of chocolate at the top. Okay, this one was kind of underwhelming. Let's see this one. Okay. Don't steal my graham cracker. Don't you dare. I'm up. So get that. Look at your head, look at it. What's bigger, your head or the pancake? What's bigger? No way, look at this, 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 look this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, this, look at this, look at this, this, look at 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 All right, so we came here for the pancake. I think we found the biggest pancake of Vegas. I don't know, you guys tell me. So I have to try this first. I love a pancake that's crispy on the top and fluffy on the inside, and I'm a eat with my hands type of guy. I see the blueberries, I see the powdered sugar, and the lemon. That's a really good pancake. Look at that texture. Nice little crust, soft on the inside, you see that? Now to the real deal. This is what I'm really excited for. I'm a huge chicken and waffles fan. I love fried chicken. So before I mix the two, I gotta get chicken by itself. I gotta see how juicy it is, how crunchy it is. That's some chicken, got some maple syrup, with some Nashville hot sauce. Oh really? <laughs> Great fried chicken. Love all these herbs, like onions. Mm. I love herbs. Gives it a really aromatic taste. Juicy white meat, which is hard to do. Love that crunch. All right, time to get a little bit of both. Now this is the match made in heaven, and this is why they created this dish. You get a little bit of this. A little bit of that, a little bit of this, right here, put it together. It's on the spicier side for me, but it's really good. I could really taste the chorizo in it. It had potatoes in here, super crunchy on the outside. It's just heaven. It's really good. They put jalapenos in here, so it has this nice little kick and it's smothered in cheddar cheese. It's actually pretty good. 
Yeah, it's actually pretty good. If you don't want it to be heavier, don't eat the potatoes as much. But I ordered it with sour cream and a side of avocado. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Oh my god, that's so crunchy. Okay, there. With that. Okay, what else am I doing? I'm going to dip on the hot sauce. I'll do this. So I can play it safe. How do they make the chicken so juicy? Because it's all white meat. Yeah, it's really juicy. There's no bone in it, so you don't have to worry about eating around the bone. It's like a chicken breast. But it's so juicy and crunchy. That's bomb. I like yours better. And my bears try at the pancake. What about the bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always eat with hands. No, <laughs> That's a good pancake, guys. Is it orange or lemon on the top? Lemon. Lemon syrup. Good, good touch up. Yeah, I think that was optional. And and she was like, do you want lemon on top? And you were like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, anytime, anytime the server recommends something, most servers have ate everything that the restaurant has to offer. So if they go, would you like with a lemon? I go, I know what you're trying to say. And yes, please. All right, so let's discover how this is so juicy. There's actually two pieces of fried chicken on here. Look at that. Break it in half. Look at that. Look at all that juice in there. Dip it in here. Oh my god. Dip it a little bit in here. Disgusting. You want them? No, 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 no. It's just chicken. Go, go, chicken. go back to the herbs, man. Alright, so that was a super yummy and huge pancake. I know I came here looking for pancakes, but one thing I did not realize that I was going to get, and I should have known from just the size of the pancake, is how big the portions are. There's enough food on there to feed us for two or three more breakfasts, but I had to try everything. So if you guys are going to come, make sure you keep your stomach empty. Your can on empty. That, your can that on empty. That thing in your freaking chest underneath it. Yes, or you can order one thing and probably share it with like three or four people. Sure. Or just order the breakfast and just plan to have it for two or three more days. What is something that you weren't expecting? So at the beginning of this video, I was saying how I'm not like much of a breakfast person because I just don't do that much sweets. So that's why I ordered the chorizo. And I was so surprised that that was actually my least favorite. Really? Yeah, because... Um, you thought that was going to be your favorite? Yeah, because I'm more of a savory person. True. But then when I heard the blueberry, and then you're like, you opted for the lemon sauce, mm -hmm. I was like... Mm, let me try this out. So when I bought when I bit into it, I was like, oh crap I think that might even be my favorite um, Pancake spot because yeah. I'm like if, if we're gonna battle and we're yeah. gonna be like pancake or waffles Yo waffles all day because it's crispy on the outside. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. warm and gooey on the inside so much texture so much going on Are you flirting or what the hell? Always um, Yeah, but then when I got the pancake it was the same thing. It was like a flat waffle mm. where it was crunchy on the outside and gooey on the inside. And it was like the perfect amount of sweetness. So it's crazy they made such a big pancake good. Too. Yeah. I wonder what the size of the pan is. Is it <laughs> even a pan? True. How about you, monkey? What'd you like, baby? Did you like the pancake? The blueberry pancake? What was your favorite? The blueberry with pancake. The blueberry with pancakes. You ate a big old amount. I was yeah, so proud you of ate you. so much. Good job, monkey. <laughs> So yeah, we came here for the pancakes. One thing that was also super good was the Campfire S'mores latte. Yes. I did not expect a drink to freaking knock my socks off, but it did. So if you guys are ever out in Vegas looking for some big, delicious pancake, make sure you check out Hash House A Go Go. It's super fun, lots of food, great environment. I super recommend it. Make sure you go check that out. And thank you guys for following us as we continue to get lost in Vegas and explore oh, yeah. the rest of the world. Bye.